Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and we're back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we're actually going to be talking about the fee gene. We're gonna talk about genetics. Now, genetics playlist we just started, the link to that playlist is in the description if you wanna check that out, but our first video on that was from Christy from Duke University. She's a graduate student. She got a couple of professors to look all of her information over, and I think she did a fantastic job on the intro to genetics, and they are currently working on the second video for us, and that is very, very kind of them, so I wanna do a huge shout out and thank you to them. Now, with that being said, I did wanna do a couple videos uh, that are specific genes that we here at MyShire Farm work with and have worked with for quite some time. So that's what this video is about. We're going to talk about the fee gene. Um, now, before I begin, if you've watched my previous videos or you watch my lives on Sundays or Mondays, um, you know that I am not very tech savvy. Now, with that being said, I'm actually going to edit this video and I'm going to include pictures of what I'm talking about. I don't know how smooth it'll look, uh, but it'll at least get you an idea of what we're talking about. So bear with me on that, uh, just in case it doesn't go as smooth in the editing process as I'm hoping. But without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so what is the fee gene? Well, the fee gene is an, a gene that changes the colors of the quail that you already have. I'll explain more about that and simplify that more in just a few minutes, okay? But pretty much it's a gene that changes the colors of the quail that you already have. Um, now, where did it come from? Well, the fee gene came from an import from JMF many years ago uh, into the German pastel collection. He imported that. The German pastel collection carries the fee gene, and that's how we have so many different types of fee genes now. Um, so this is what the German pastel collection looks like. Okay, so um, you saw that there's many different varieties of colors in the German pastel collection. It is a collection. Um, so I prefer, me personally, the German pastel collection and the Schofield silver collection to continue to be collections. I do not like to take them out and individualize them. Um, I don't think that's healthy long term for the quail. Um, and I like the variety of colors that you can get from them. Uh, so with that being said, you there's a fee gene in every single one of those. You can pull that out and you can put it with something else and it changes the coloration of that quail. What I mean by that is everybody knows what a wild looks like, right? Well, just in case, this is what a wild looks like. All right, now, if we would introduce the fee gene to that, we would get a fab fee. That's what this looks like. Another example is an Italian, right? Now, if we introduce that with the fee gene, we actually get pearls. Okay, so uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you all the colorations of the quail uh, in a little slideshow, and hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, but you can get a lot of different variations and a, a lot of different varieties by using the fee gene to the colors of quail that have already been established. So for example, wild into fab V, which we already discussed, Italian into the pearl, which we've already discussed. Now growl fee, well, this is what a Tibetan looks like. And a Tibetan with the fee gene could look like this. Rosetta. Rosetta with the fee gene looks like this. And you can go on and on and on. Um, so if you introduce that feed gene, it changes the coloration 
of that quail, which is a lot of fun. And we have worked with that uh, extremely hard in the past couple of years. Um, and, uh, and I'm very happy with it. I really like a lot of the colors that have came out with it. Uh, in fact, two new colors that we'll be introducing shortly have the feed gene in it and they are amazing. So I'm very excited about that. Um, now I'm going to give you one more example and then I'm going to show you how to introduce the feed gene to it. And then uh, we'll do a little slideshow. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment below, and I will do my very best to help you out. But remember, every Sunday and Monday, we do a live Q&A right here on our YouTube channel, and we'd be happy to help you there as well. So, um, the Egyptian. I really, really like the Egyptian. The Egyptian is the rue de loot of the wild. Now, I know that I'm getting ahead of myself, but the next video we do is going to be about the rue gene, which personally is my favorite gene to work with. Uh, and I'll explain that in that video, but this is what an Egyptian looks like. Well, we introduced that Egyptian to the fee, and this is what we came up with, the Egyptian fee. Now, I'm sure it's been done before, but this was the first time that we actually tried to do it is so like i said the wild with the rue gene which is pretty much the red gene creates egyptian so the egyptian is a wild with rue right all right now we've talked about the feed gene but we've never actually introduced them together and we didn't know how that was going to go so i'm very very excited about the egyptian fee uh all of these are available on our website just so you know but uh, the egyptian fee is is really doing extremely well and so we've worked with the fee and rue combination uh as of lately and we're getting amazing results so i'm very excited about that as well now the last thing i wanted to say before we do that is how do you introduce the feed gene well, you can pretty much do it however you want. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I'm a big believer that there are many different ways to get to the same destination, right? There's many different ways to raise Caternix quail. So what we did at the very beginning was we put German pastels with certain colors, and that's how we were transferring uh, the feed gene. Well, now all of you have great opportunity to just start with the feed gene in general. Um, so, you know, you can buy the pearls or you can buy this or you can buy that. Um, and then you can introduce those to the other quail. So if long story short, if you have a quail that carries that feed gene, if you put it with other quail that do not, the offspring will carry that feed gene most of the time. Um, so that's pretty exciting as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I don't destroy it during the editing process. Uh, we'll see how I do, but, uh, thank you very much for watching. Now, the rest of this video, I'm just going to do a quick slideshow with the names on them. I hope that you enjoy that. And if you have any questions, comment below. Remember Sundays and Mondays we go live and Thank you very, very much for watching this video and watching a bunch of our videos. I cannot express to you how grateful I am uh, to all of that. So thank you very, very much. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We have some really good videos coming your way. You will not want to miss. Until next time, everybody, as always, stay safe.